how you do little things is exactly how you'll do big things. I was listening to this podcast once and the man said, whenever he's hiring new people, he looks into their cars in the parking lot and then he'll take down the license plate of the people with the dirtiest cars and tell them to leave immediately because he knows everything he needs to know about them just by how the car looks on the inside. No matter what it is, if you're at McDonald's and you're working at McDonald's and you half ass at McDonald's, if you had a multi-million dollar business, you would half ass at the multi-million dollar business. Little things are just as important as the big things in all aspects of life. You can't say, if I get to a certain point, I'm going to do this. Bullshit. No, you won't. What you do right now is a reflection of what you'll do later. And your circumstances right now won't change because you won't make the adjustments and do the things that you need to do in the manner in which you need to do it. You have to carry yourself like the person you want to become. You have to do everything in the manner of your end goal. My goal is to become a millionaire. And since I really locked in on that goal, I've looked at certain things and they start to bother me. If my car isn't clean, it bothers me. My lawn has some dandelions in the front. It bothers me because I ask myself, is this something a millionaire would be okay with? And you ask yourself this question over and over again throughout the day about what your goal is. If your goal is to be fit, you want to do every little thing in your life excellent when it comes to fitness. It's 12 o'clock. You know, there's nothing open except for a McDonald's. Are you going to eat the McDonald's? If you do decide to eat the McDonald's, that's not something that a fit person would do. And therefore, you're not being excellent. And it takes that level of discipline in order to get to the levels that you aspire to be. If you're watching this video, it's because you aspire to be something bigger. You want to be bigger. You want to be better. You want to become the best version of yourself. You have to do everything with excellence. And it all starts with the little things, insignificant things, things that you might think is insignificant, how you treat people, what you do with your day, how you do your work, what you do when nobody's looking. You see, if you're uncomfortable, with yourself because of your habits, that says a lot. That says a lot about you because you are not happy with yourself when you're alone and that's your true self. Unfortunately, people don't want to believe that. And for a long time, I didn't want to believe it because I was stuck in a lot of bad habits. But what you do when nobody's looking is who you really are. That's who you really are. And a lot of people are not going to be happy to hear those words because they're not happy with who they are. They're uncomfortable with themselves. The way you gain that comfort with yourself is by doing every little thing as best as you possibly can. You always pretend like if somebody's watching. If you live your life like you're on TV, it's a TV show. Would you scroll through Instagram and look at half naked girls? For a long period of time, if somebody's watching you, hell nah. You wouldn't want to do that. You'd focus on your goals. You focus on what you need to do because you don't want people seeing that because it's not productive and you know that's not how you want to be seen. Every little thing that you do has to be done in an excellent way. When I'm at the gym and there are weights out of place, people leave weights on the floor. I didn't leave those weights on the floor. People leave weights on the floor. What I would do is I would pick up the weights and I'd put them back where they're supposed to be. There's a million trainers at my gym all working and they'll leave the weights all over the place. It's their job. They get paid to do that, but they still leave it all over the place. Me, I don't get paid to do that, but somebody has to do it. And I believe in doing things excellent. If I am a leader in that gym and I make sure the gym stays clean. I don't have to tell anybody to do anything. People will see me and then they'll follow by example. And I've already seen this. I've, I've seen people start to do what I do because 
when I look at the gym, it's our community. It's where we congregate. It's the same people every day. There's some people that come in February and March and whatnot and January, but they're gone by the summertime. So it's the same people. The way I look at it is if it's all of us coming to the gym and we come to the gym consistently, it's our responsibility to keep it clean, right? And if nobody else does it, then I'll do it. And that might seem insignificant, but that is a level of excellence you have to do every little thing with. Another example is when I used to work at a barbershop, I would act as if it was my barbershop. I would wear a dress shirt. I would stay a little bit later and clean. I would actually come in early to make sure I got on the ox so that my coworkers wouldn't get on the ox because they would play music with like swearing and all this crazy stuff. And to me, it was like, if I'm a customer, I don't want to hear that. I would make sure that I'd come in and I'd get on the ox early and I would stay on that. Sometimes I would skip lunch to make sure nobody else got on the ox. It's not because I cared about the music. I like the music that they wanted to play, but it wasn't about me. It was about the customer. And I believed in doing things in an excellent manner when it came to customer service. I would go out of my way to make sure that everybody's comfortable, even if I had to make the sacrifice of coming in to work a little extra early just for that. Right? So every little thing you do, it's going to compound and it's going to become what you get known for. And then once you get to that point, it's cause and effect. Remember, I always say this world is inputs and outputs. So if you, you keep putting excellent inputs, you keep doing every little thing excellent as possible. You keep your place clean. You keep your, your mind clean. You take care of your family. You, you organize yourself and you just do everything in an excellent manner. Then you will have an excellent life. And it's really that simple. I'm not saying you're going to have a perfect life because there's extraction and retraction. You're going to have good times and bad times, no matter if you have a billion dollars, you have a dollar. But you want that freedom. You want to become the best version of yourself. You do things in an excellent manner. It's really that simple. Stay consistent with that and your life will change in ways that you can't imagine. All that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.